Well then, <coughs> so, so I think we've come to the end of this part, uh, well, all this section, uh, one all the way up to five, which I've done, basically putting these little, uh, uh, what I assume are machine guns onto the sides of the vehicle. Um, that's done so far. Where have I got to so far? Well, let's have a look. So the fuselage is together, as you may have noticed. Uh, I put a bit of filler in the places that needed filler using uh, uh, this stuff. Mr. Mahogany Surfacer to fill up the gaps. It's fairly good for that. I put it on last night and then this evening <laughs> sanded it down all the way down there as you can see. Uh, so there's little bits of left, like uh, that line there, but uh, basically also what I've done to this fuse large, I've, I've gone over it with the sander, with the sanding stick, basically making the uh, panel lines, which are raised, a lot less prominent. And uh, to be honest, I'm not going to be too concerned if they aren't visible, because they still will be visible, I'm quite, I'm quite certain of that, but they're going to be less than they were. So I like to think that that's going to make them more in, t in scale, because it is a small vehicle, but uh, we'll see. That's what we're done with that. Uh, I've had a bit of more, a few more issues with the uh, this little bit. Uh, right now, I've covered it in um, what do you call the stuff? Gloss varnish and letting it dry. It's not fully dry yet, at least I don't think it is. But uh, the varnish isn't working quite as well as I thought it would. I may try to wash that off and uh, use the uh, pledge. We've got a nice bottle of pledge there, which I bought specifically for this sort of use, so I think that may do a better job than the uh, varnish, because as you can see there's still uh, marks there. I wasn't able to polish that out properly, but uh, the, I, I, I dipped it in pledge once before I did this, and it seemed to do something, but then I uh, got cold feet and washed it all off and uh, tried with the uh, Vallejo gloss varnish. And uh, it hasn't, the varnish hasn't done as good a job as I thought it would. So maybe it just needs to dry all the way, except I think it is dry. It feels dry to the touch. So, yeah, I'm going to have another go with the pledge and hopefully that will do a better job. Uh, but that's where we are with the, uh, the uh, B25. Um, what else have I done? I've done a bit, of, bit, bit more painting for the small pieces here. I've painted up the uh, engine barrel, so or the engine units <laughs> in uh, steel. So I'll, I'll be. They're not going to be that visible, so I'm not going to spend too much time detailing these up. But uh, probably a bit of a, a wash just to highlight the uh, just to highlight the fins and stuff. What else? Uh, as I mentioned before, the little little machine gun has got a coat of uh, gun metal. So I just went by gun metal on a whim, and then I checked the uh, painting guide, and it does say gun metal. So uh, yeah, that was successful. I'm using this nose, and uh, I've put uh, some more uh, weight in there. Uh, the weight I used is a uh, fishing line weight. Uh, so basically, if you've got a hardware store that sells fishing tackle and stuff, they'll have lots of these things. I've mentioned it before. The ones I got come in these little boxes, of various sizes. And uh, yeah, they're also quite a soft metal, so you can cut them fairly easily with a uh, well, pair of nippers. We'll cut them, no problem. And it's, as I said, it is soft metal, so you can squash it as well, fit, fit it into little corners. When it says squash it, it's not like Play-Doh or putty, it's not going to do that, but uh, if you can cut it up into little pieces and put it into the corners, it'll be fine. Held in there with the uh, super glue. So, that will uh, put a bit of weight in there, stop it being a tail sitter. Uh, yeah, so I think I'll have to, uh, there's a little, uh, 
Watch on the edge there. Uh, what do you call that thing? <laughs> sprue, uh, sprue joint. So on either side. So I guess I'm going to sand those down first before I apply it to the uh, nose because it's going to be very difficult to clean it up once it's there because of these panels that we put on the side. But uh, yeah, so that's where we are so far. I'm uh, fairly confident and I've, I've been quite happy with how it's gone so far. Uh, did spend a lot of time cleaning up some bits like the uh, landing gear and uh, those gun barrels and that, to scrap them off the seam lines. But uh, it wasn't too hard, it was fairly straightforward and uh, fairly cathartic in places. Lots of sanding going on down here on the spine, on the uh, joints of the fuselage again as well. Um, so the sandings. So 1000 grit Tamiya sponge, good for this sort of thing. So. So basically, I just use a, a standard emery board, so buy them cheap, packs of five or whatever, and uh, went over that, then finished it off with the uh, very fine 1000 grit sanding sponge, which has done a nice job. So I think next stage we're going to go on to doing the, uh, the engines. We're going to ignore that bit because I'm not using that part. So I'm going to put together the engines and then it's wings and tailplane and so on. So some more big bits to add to the vehicle. And uh, yeah, so uh, oh, and uh, the music tells us we've come to the end of this video. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw, tell your friends. If you didn't like it, tell me why and maybe I can uh, do a better job next time. And uh, whatever you do, thank you for watching and uh, have a good time. Model making. Take care, everybody. <laughs>